now? Yeah, so I've got um, three um, impacts of the medicalization of distress that I see as being more negative. Mm -hmm. So maybe if we start to look at some of those now. There's, um, I must have read this somewhere. It doesn't feel like my own language, but it can give, it can put young people in what was referred to as a sick role. So like, I'm, un I'm unwell, I've got this thing, I've got anxiety, which can leave them kind of quite passive and, and having a reduced sense of responsibility for their recovery. Like the doctor said, I've got this and I should see a counsellor. So you tell me how to fix it. Um, and, and it can lead to the belief that only specially trained professionals will know how to deal with that young person. I think, you know, even parents can start to think that. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know about depression or I don't know about anxiety. Kind of, yeah, this needs an expert, which, yeah. And, and again, something from the research that I've just mentioned Lucy Johnston name, Lucy Johnston's name, and of course she worked with a whole load of colleagues whose names I haven't listed here, but it is in the references. So yes. <laughs> just because I've seen her event, she's a real person, but I'm sure the others <laughs> yes. are too. Yes. So what they found in their research was that diagnosis could induce the person diagnosed to have less optimism about their recovery, make less effort to recover have lower perceived control over their difficulties, undermining the effects of therapy. So that kind of, I've got this thing, it can feel like they're stuck with it. And I know everyone responds differently to, mm. to diagnosis. Yeah. It's a flavor of that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And again, th sorry, go on. I'm just thinking if colleagues haven't checked out the work that we've done with Lucy at online yeah. events, it's definitely worth. Definitely. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, for more yeah. information about this. Lots of really good resources as well that are yeah. free. So yeah, yeah, I'd recommend that. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and another little quote from a client. My doctor said I've got anxiety. I've been having more panic attacks since then. So it's almost like being given that diagnosis scared her more or made her notice it more or... I don't know, but it, like she'd been struggling more since her doctor told her she'd got anxiety. Mm. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, so th this is a, another little quote from something I was reading. I think it was something online actually. Helena, Helena Goldberg, who's an open university psychology lecturer. If young people are repeatedly told they have a disorder when they face challenging emotions and experiences, many will internalize a sense of victimhood and powerlessness and lose their capacity to cope. Our role should be to help children put their difficulties into perspective, not present them as disorders, to help them understand we can work through difficulties and that they can develop resilience through facing up to and negotiating challenges and learning to handle a range of emotions. So I think my concern is if we give people a label rather than an understanding of why they're struggling, we're missing an opportunity to help them. And I know they're not exclusive. We can do both. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, certainly those three things sound very impactful. Like, uh, and I guess that, that as young as children and young people, we are absorbing our environment. That's kind of the purpose of the organism. And if the messages that we're being given are how we interject them, it's so, so powerful. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah.